so as I say, along this way, we, we had this investor, investor who, yeah. who wanted to invest in social mm -hmm. enterprise. Mm -hmm. um, to me, it seemed at that point like this is a dream come true. Mm -hmm. We have somebody who's willing to help us set this up. Mm. This will help us raise money. Mm -hmm. I'll never have to go begging again. Mm. <laughs> the money will be reinvested in Seed of Hope. Mm. We'll be able to mm. train all these young people without the hassle mm. of, of fundraising. Mm. Um, unfortunately, um, that it became a huge learning point, mm. but one of the most difficult um, years or two as well. Mm. Um, so it started off very well. We mm. launched a fashion house. We employed girls mm. um, who graduated from Seed of Hope to mm. be able to produce the clothing. We mm. opened a shop and mm. um, the first shop was doing very well. Mm. Um, and we had this partnership with this investor who essentially would invest the finance once or twice bring in technical support but we were the ones running the the business on the ground we mm. were the ones offering the bulk of the kind of technical um guidance and support and, and doing all the work mm. um and we didn't write it down mm. we didn't write a partnership agreement mm. we didn't agree this is your percentage or stake in, mm. in the enterprise this is seat of hopes um at that time we'd been able to register it um mm. without having such conversations mm -hmm. Um, and that led to trouble later oh, on. <laughs> oh, we hadn't, what happened? Mm. We hadn't as clearly as we should have defined expectations I, yeah. and, and all of that. Mm. So we got to the point where there just began to be this sense of like push and pull, mm -hmm. where I and, and our team here would say, we feel we need to do X or go in a certain direction, make a certain decision, and then there would be pushback from this mm. other end. Mm. And because they controlled the finance, mm. that pushed us to make one decision or another, mm. um, often not the decision that we wanted. Mm. Um, and then that kind of push and pull continued, became more and more intense till mm. we got to the point where we said, okay, all these things that we didn't write down two years ago, we need to write them down. Mm. It was too late by that point <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, because they wanted to own this huge stake in the business and i thought the business should be owned by seed of hope i didn't mm. want any stake in it and <laughs> mm. um, i felt it should be owned by seed of hope and, mm. and that um their investment should be from their desire to support seed of hope mm. and that if they owned any stake it should be a minimal one mm. um, or, or one that allowed us to continue to invest back to the largest extent in seed of hope mm. um, and key lessons learned in, in, lessons. in, in, in social entrepreneurship <laughs> and well and, and in partnership and collaboration yeah, i think yeah. that for me was the biggest lesson yeah, was yeah. how do we partner how do we define those partnerships well mm, how do mm, we manage power imbalances mm, in partnerships mm, this was essentially this rich mm, white guy mm, <laughs> mm, um so there's huge power imbalance Mm. It gender wise, finance wise, mm. this kind of like I'm mm. a business pro, I've mm. run all these successful companies, mm. you don't know anything. <laughs> so mm. um and I And because it, it started off with a good intention. Absolutely. There was there was good funding. Mm. There was as you say, you were excited when you first mm -hmm. heard that oh there was going to be resources. Mm -hmm. So um I, 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 I just want to, because it's it's also a lesson learning mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. um, platform. Uh, what what could have been done different, mm -hmm. you know, given the opportunity to do this again? Mm -hmm. What could have been done different on either on, 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 on either parts? So I think definitely better defining the partnership, being really clear at the beginning. At the beginning. That this is what you're bringing to the table this is what we bring this is the value of what we bring this is mm. the value of what you bring. even a seed of hope yes yeah and that comes back to the second thing which i think is having confidence in non-financial power yes yeah so we had all of the kind of contextual cultural organizational yeah. Yeah. wealth as it were yeah and um, we had the people who would do all the work we yeah. had everything except for the money to yeah, kind of pay yeah. the bills <laughs> and that is valuable so yep. so so much but we didn't recognize that and yeah. we didn't have confidence in that yeah and it was as our confidence in that grew that we yeah. began to open up this conversation yeah. that eventually got us in trouble yeah but i think also the third thing is being aware mm. of the power imbalances and mm. having a strategy to address them mm. um and so i guess 
very naively i thought this guy's a good guy i can trust him he's kind of a friend i mean a friend we've gotten to know in that space but still mm. Mm. yeah he has good intention and everybody with good intentions mm. is good mm. therefore <laughs> why do i need mm. to worry mm. um so being aware of power imbalances and being ready to address them mm. and not let them blind yeah and let them mm. establish root because now by yeah, the time yeah. we were trying to deal with them they've yeah. taken root in so how they much operated. yeah it was too late to address them you, meaning that you are not able to get out of this funk so yeah basically mm. um mm. i think we when we got to the place where we recognized we had to take some drastic action to address mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. by that point i was physically drained emotionally drained mentally drained we could have pushed it to like a court case that fought it through. We had evidence from like email trains of like what we felt seed of hope stake should be in this business. Um, but I was too drained to pursue it. And it was at that point easier to walk away. And so as seed of hope, um, as one or two of the senior staff, we said, you know what, it's okay. Let them do their thing. If they want to continue to employ young people from Seed of Hope, we'll never stop them from doing that because we'll never close our young people out of opportunities. But in terms of our partnership and our stake in this business, it's okay. We've learned our lessons. Let's walk away. <laughs> we knew it would be a hard case to fight. We knew we would have probably a 1% of the fees they would have to pay their lawyers and we would have to pay our lawyers. Uh, it just seemed like a battle that would be a long, hard one and we didn't want to fight it at that mm, point mm, mm. so so yeah we decided to to walk away and mm. um, we set up as many of our young people as we could with opportunities within that setup before we did and mm -hmm. um, really trying to make sure that it, it employed as many as possible and mm. that kind of thing and, and it went on for a couple of years and, and they did mm. um, work with with the Seed of Hope graduates mm. um, but huge lessons learned and I think personally one of the big lessons at that point was that I had some really good kind of mentors and friends. Mm -hmm. I didn't have anybody who was from that either development, social enterprise space. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why. It would have mm. been clever for me to look for someone. Mm. <laughs> um, but, but yeah. Um, and so whilst I had lots of people giving me advice, helping to shape me as a leader, even in terms of organizational development, mm. um, I didn't have anybody who had walked some of those paths and could really advise based on, on their experience and lessons that mm. they had lived through and then perhaps mm. I wouldn't have mm. had to. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, so, so yeah. 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 I guess now we pay forward. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah. We now paid forward, I mean, through this and mm. through mm -hmm. Through other ways, Absolutely. we don't let others go through through that if we can. Um, so uh, that's 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 an interesting um, seed of hope experience. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, is this so is that wariness and that how you come to leave seed of hope? Um, not at that point, no. Mm -hmm. So we, I left, so essentially at that point I was working, the, the social enterprise had an office and, and Seed of Hope had an office and I was mm -hmm. working between the two. Mm -hmm. So I essentially went, left the, the social enterprise office and went back full time mm -hmm. to actually the Vision Africa office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And because that's also when we'd begun to take on the, the whole of Vision Africa mm -hmm. um, as my grandparents fully transitioned back to the mm -hmm. UK. Mm -hmm. um, so so yeah that so two or three things coincided at the same time i, mm -hmm. I left the social enterprise took on this this role as my grandparents transitioned out mm -hmm. um, and got married so got married uh -huh. late in 2008 mm -hmm. um so yeah it, it was an interesting season Weird, yeah yeah <laughs> um, i mean shout out to Moz. he has never he has never been a part of my life that has held me back he's mm. always encouraged me to go out do my thing and um, we have a very equal partnership in mm. how we approach life, um, which I'm very grateful for because I recognize that marriages have different dynamics and different mm. expectations placed, particularly on women. Mm. Um, and so to have had um, the space and freedom to pursue things at the same pace as <laughs> my other half, mm. <laughs> um, I, I think has been a blessing. Mm. Um, mm. So, so yeah, it was That's a... Good. Demanding couple of years. Oh, mm. I did my master's at the same time. <laughs> oh, wow. Those so, are many things at the same time. It was. Uh, and that's partly why by the point we got to this 
kind of battle over the social enterprise, I was mm. like, I'm done. <laughs> mm. There are all these balls in the air. Mm. Let me just focus on the ones yeah. that have a future. Yeah. Um, and so I was doing my master's um, by distance um, from University of London. Mm -hmm. Institute of Education. I did a master's in education and international development. Right. At You'd that point, started... it was becoming clear that yeah, yeah <laughs> that was the path. Mm. And I remember um, I used to live in an apartment where there was a cyber on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. And so I remember having to, it was before Wi Fi was affordable mm -hmm. in our homes. And so mm. I remember having to go downstairs and sit in the cyber, do the dial up connection, mm. <laughs> pray that it would connect, and, mm. and try and join in classes and activities from wow. the cyber. Um, the guys in the cybers, I think, became my uh, closest friends yeah. <laughs> at that point. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just uh, tried to do distance education mm. before mm. distance education was really a well-oiled yeah, machine. Now, it, now it's, the, it's the norm. It's more the norm than, yeah. the, than it is the exception. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, mm. so that was an Lord, experience in itself. <laughs> those are many things all at the same time in this, this season. Yeah, uh, towards, that's towards 2008, 2010, mm -hmm. around that period? Yeah, 2008, 2009, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Quite a lot is happening yes. around that time. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It speaks to uh, also the power of intent, you know? Mm -hmm. Like if you choose, mm -hmm. yes, you, you have supporting, uh, you have a support, proper support system, but also you have the intention to, to and the vision and the ambition to mm -hmm. say, let's go for all of this and you do make it happen <laughs> make it happen yeah kudos yeah. to that all right uh -huh. what happens next so um I, I say the things that vision africa begin to take shape i'm mm -hmm. able to kind of fight those battles of the early days mm -hmm. where we're kind of weeding out the rot in the system mm -hmm. and, and making sure the systems are robust enough to carry the organization mm -hmm. forward mm -hmm. um and, and really bringing together a team around me at Vision Africa and mm. um, shifting a little how we fundraise. So we started doing more kind of trust and foundation fundraising. And mm. mm. um, we were registered in the UK as well as here. So that allowed us to raise money as a UK entity and mm. um, kind of refining our governance structures, both in Kenya and the UK as well, building those out um, and working to build governance structures that worked for what the impact we were trying to achieve and mm. um, so making sure we had the right people on the board with the right skill set and mm. um, that kind of thing and, and on the staff team as well um, and we didn't have a huge budget so a lot of that was essentially underemploying and um, people who just had the right spark um, and we more often than not kind of disregarded cvs and employment mm. processes mm. but looked for people who had lived their lives in pursuit of a certain passion that was aligned to what we were doing, who had um, developed kind of informal skill sets that were important, that had good work ethic, that mm. um, were rooted in their communities, that understood what we were trying to achieve, mm. um, rather than looking for kind of degrees and masters and because we yeah. couldn't afford to employ at that level anyway. Mm. And so that meant a lot of my time was also mentoring within the organization mm -hmm. and so as you say kind of paying it forward mm -hmm. and so walking with staff which mm -hmm. i didn't by any stretch of imagination do perfectly Imagine. at all times <laughs> <laughs> but um it was a huge privilege to work with to walk with some really special people mm -hmm. and um i think learn from each other mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but but also just pass on some of what we'd learned and begun to practice over mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. the years particularly mm -hmm. at seed of hope and, and take that seed of hope experience mm. and almost as a seed of hope team mentor the other teams across the vision africa project yeah um that was when we began to look at our portfolio of work under children's homes mm. and really ask um hard questions about mm. children's homes and whether they should even exist in the mm. first place mm. um and we did quite a bit of work um at that point around deinstitutionalization. <laughs>